Here we have 5.2 multiplying rational expressions involving quadratics with leading coefficients greater than one. So there's nothing really different here other than the type of numerators and denominators, but the process is still the same. We still have to factor everything, and then after we factor everything, we need to cancel our common factors. So this numerator is a difference of squares. So it actually factors into three plus five and 3x minus 5. And then there's my times. And this actually has a GCF of 5. So if I factor that out, this becomes x minus 2. So that's my numerator all together. Now this we have to factor. Now depending on how you factor, um, that process might take a little bit longer for some. And it might be a little bit shorter for others. So it just depends on you. And then this factor cannot be factored any further, so I'm just going to put it in parentheses since I do have to multiply by the entire denominator 3x plus 5, okay? So I factored this pretty fast just because I've been factoring for, oh gosh, since the 90s, right? <laughs> so not to date myself or anything, but that's okay. I'm not ashamed. Um, but these... I can factor pretty good, but that's because I've been doing it for a very long time. Um, for us, I mean over 20 years, right? So I can factor really, really fast. But for you guys, you learned a specific method on how to factor, and that was the AC method. So for you, if you're not coming up with these factors just right away and knowing that that's the actual answer, I would suggest you go through that AC method, right? So two times 14 is negative 28. And then I think seven and three are gonna be my magic numbers, or seven and four, I'm sorry, are my magic numbers to get that three. The bigger one would have to be positive, making the smaller one negative. And so then that becomes plus seven x minus four x minus 14. These guys have an x in common, leaving me with this, bring down the minus sign. These guys have a two in common, making that positive seven and positive two, oh, I'm sorry other way around dyslexic moment sorry positive 2 and positive 7 and then they're having the 2x plus 7 in common with the x minus 2 from the outsides left over and so notice that is the exact same thing that I had there okay um, so like I said if it takes you a while to factor the trinomials just do it off to the side and be like miss this is my side work right and that's fine Okay, um, but you do have to factor that trinomial. Now, once we have everybody factored, we still need to go through and reduce, right? So I see the 3x plus 5 on top here, the 3x plus 5 at the bottom there. Oh, I also see an x minus 2 and an x minus 2, so those are all gone. But this factor doesn't match any of the factors up here, and there's none of these factors down here. So my final answer is going to be the bottom is 2x plus 7, and when it's the only factor downstairs, you don't need the parentheses anymore, but if you choose to put those parentheses, the computer will still mark it correct, okay? Here, we like to have our coefficients in the front, and so we get this as our final answer. Again, because this is the only thing in the bottom, you do not have to put those parentheses, so this could also be a final answer.